Hi folks, Matthew Lanigan here with Baywa RE. We're just gonna give it another minute. We just see a few people still logging in and we'll be back with you here in just a moment. Thanks. Hey folks, uh, Matthew Lanigan here again with Baywa RE. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer here at Baywa. Really appreciate you all taking some time today and uh, learn about some of the products we carry from Hellerman Titan. Just a couple of housekeeping notes. Uh, this will be recorded, so it will go up on our YouTube channel. Um, all of our webinars are hosted on our YouTube channel, so if you haven't signed up for that, please do. We'll also have a copy of this in the May newsletter that will come out next week. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please put them into the bottom right corner. We'll do our best to answer those in real time. Uh, continuing education is very important for Baywa's staff and we're, we're happy to extend that uh, to our customer base as well. Uh, so without further ado, I would like to introduce our resident uh, Toronto Maple Leafs fan, Terry Libertas from Hellerman Titan. He's the technical sales manager. Boo. I know. I, I'm really, so I guess I should should start off by apologizing for my Leaf jersey. Um, it's, it's playoff time, as you probably all know, and it's a tradition of mine to, uh, to support my, my, uh, my beloved Maple Leafs. It's it's been a, as you guys know, a challenge to support this team some, from time to time. But anyways, neither neither here nor there. So um, thank you guys for uh, taking a bit of time to to learn a little bit more about solar cable management. Um, you guys are probably aware of of us, I would think, through our relationship with with uh, with Baywa and his team and Matt's team there. Um, I'm going to start with a, a quick little presentation, if you will, on, on us and what we do. Um, presently, uh, gosh, Matt, I guess the relationship we have with Baywa goes back to your you know, national solar start. Um, we've been a part of uh, you know, the solar industry, solar world, more or less since the beginning. And I, and I think that's something that, that gravitated uh, National Solar or Baywa towards us as well. We we really did kind of lead the charge when it came to the uh, solar cable management aspect of, of what you guys do. So without any uh, further ado, I guess I will start with, with just sort of going over basically a, uh, a sort of idea as to the types of products that we sell and sell through Baywa. So just give me one moment here to get my uh, camera off. And now everybody can see this? We can see it. Okay, excellent. So um, guys, you, you you probably know, you know, and, and everybody uses something different, but basically speaking, um, Hellerman Titan provides a, a solution for cable management for routing, protecting, uh, managing, any type of uh, solar PV cables or wire uh, harness and cables in general. So um, we are a global company. There's almost 40 of us around the world. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, leading the, the way when it comes to solar cable management and identification. Uh, here, as we go through this, uh, this presentation, we're gonna go over a few of the details on products. We'll start with just a 
uh, again, a brief uh, synopsis on some of the products. We're talking about fastening, so any type of uh, cable ties or, or products like cable ties. We have securing methods here with something like our, our fir tree mount here, as well as a convoluted tubing or a flexible conduit um, you know, protection type of product. So again, we, we also have a full line of identification products specifically geared towards the solar market. So, and as well, some application tools for our cable ties. Um, we, we start now with a full line catalog. So, so this is a full presentation. So for anybody that's interested in parts of it or all of it, you can just let Matt or Emma know and we can happily share whatever it is that, that we're going to talk about today. So there's a little bit about us. Already mentioned, uh, 40 of us roughly around the world. Uh, we consider ourselves the leading manufacturer of fastening and identification solutions for the, for the solar industry. Uh, we have, uh, again, we, we really have taken the cable management side of, of not just solar, but just in general, up a notch. There's really not many companies like us as far as the breadth or the, the variety of products that we offer. Um, wide range of markets that we do serve. Uh, uh, beyond solar, uh, we got a, a huge strength in uh, automotive or mass transit rolling stock, some electrical control panels, automation, things like that as well. One thing that does separate us from some of our competition uh, is our material expertise. So we do have a, a, a team in our US office. So just, just to sort of go back a little bit, uh, most of our products are, are made, uh, US made. Milwaukee, Wisconsin is our, is our main manufacturing center in the US. Uh, we have three other main manufacturing locations around the world, Germany, the UK, China and then Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So the, the vast, vast majority of products that you guys would see uh, come from our Milwaukee US office. So um, we have uh, worked with our chemical people and chemical engineers to develop material products that work specifically for solar. So something as basic as a UV stabilizer up to something as, as um, highly sort of uh, sophisticated, if you will, of our PVDF tie, which is a, a, a tie and a product that we guarantee for a 25 year maintenance free uh, for your cable management in solar. So uh, we also have a, a, a standard PA66, we have a PA12 material. Uh, when I say PA, that's, that's a basic term for a polyamide, which is a nylon uh, base. Uh, you know, we, we come up along this uh, quite often plastic or metal, not just in solar, but in, in a general way. Um, we have uh, done extensive testing, whether it's accelerated life testing, whether it's vibration tests on our materials compared to not only other plastics, but metal in some cases as well. So without going into all the finer details, we, we, we do have a lot of research and a lot of uh, test data to support some of our claims that uh, not only is plastic, uh, uh, in some cases, uh, last longer, it can be stronger. Uh, there are other factors that, that, uh, that play well against metal. Here's just a little bit of some of the details that we, we go through as far as our testing is concerned. Design, again, uh, we have taken, you know, information from our customers, from our uh, in some cases from the market itself. And we've done uh, as much as we can to use that information to, to help design products that, that customers like you guys uh, use every day and can specify in for, for some of your projects. So um, this is just one example of a product that, that we've designed here. It's called our ratchet clamp. So this is this metal tab here that, that hopefully you guys are seeing. Uh, can be mounted to the frame itself. And this is actually a quick connect or disconnect, if you will, just by using a small flat blade screwdriver 
and putting a bit of pressure on the inside, this actually pops open. So it can go in and get in and out with, with whatever you need to do, whether it's it's adding a wire and cable, whether it's, it's uh, maintaining that system after the fact, just allows you a little bit more flexibility there. Um, most of you that buy from Baywash should be or would be quite familiar with our edge clips. Uh, so th this is really the product that kind of started it all for us and not just with solar. Uh, it was actually originally designed for our, our automotive customers where customers did not want to drill an unnecessary hole. So the Germans, actually, it was our Hellerman Titan German office that designed this metal edge clip. Um, started out with just a small plastic clip, which elaborated into a variety of different ways to secure it and uh, accessories, if you will, to attach the wire and cable. The most basic way is our edge clip with a cable tie. Uh, that's something that, that Baywa has supported us on uh, since the beginning. Uh, we have one that, that is something that we actually, uh, that was something we had fairly early on as well, which is our metal edge clip. It's meant to, uh, again, clip on to the back of a panel or a frame, and it secures two PV cables at the most. Um, the one advantage to using the edge clip with a cable tie combination is you've got a very limitless bundle diameter uh, possibility. So anything from one PV cable up to, of course, the length of the cable tie. Uh, standard length seem to be eight inch cable tie, but we do offer some that go up to as long as a 15 inch tie. So depending on what you're, what you're looking to do. Um, we pride ourselves with our edge clips on what's called a low insertion and a high extraction. So easy to push on, very, very difficult to pull off. In fact, uh, if you do need to get it off for whatever reason, it is the kind of thing you more or less have to pry off. Um, but one of the advantages to the edge clip cable tie combination is there's no reason to try to take that edge clip off. Once you push that edge clip on, in the event that you need to get at that uh, bundle, uh, whatever it happens to be, all you have to do at this point is clip off the cable tie. Mount stays on, allows you to then, after the fact, go back, reinstall it with a cable tie, and you're back to sort of where you were. So that's just a, a, a kind of a brief um, overview of our of our edge clips. So um, we we get into a few more details as to size and scale of a solar farm or a solar installation, anywhere from the module level um, and beyond to our utility scale and commercial scale, as well as some uh, home installations as well, some rooftop installations, etc. Here's some of the wire management stuff. We're talking about some of our larger bundles or, or home runs, I suppose you might call them. Here's a ratchet P-clamp in application. Again, that tab is secured here with your nut and bolt. And this gives you the ability to run anywhere from a quarter inch all the way up to a three inch bundle by using a ratchet clamp. We'll get into a little bit more detail, but the ratchet clamps are also now available. And this, this is actually something that came from, uh, in some cases, limited space and to an inline mounting capability as well. So behind where the tab is now, we also offer ratchet clamps with a fir tree mount, uh, whether it's oval or uh, a circle and a adhesive mount. So there's, a, again, a couple of different options there. Solar cable ties, again, a pretty uh, basic uh, concept and a basic thing, but again, similar to what I, I touched on in the beginning, uh, one of the things that has separated us from, from the others has been our, our blend of material. We do use a raw virgin material nylon, uh, which is also a little bit different than, than some, and pride ourselves on a quality cable tie, whether it's made out of a standard nylon or all the way up to our, our PVDF. So. Um, cable ties are, are, again, it doesn't take much uh, training or, or knowledge to understand the basic idea of a cable tie. Um, our most popular ones are, are here in this first section. They, they tend to be uh, about the, the top five or so 
In this case, we've got our 30 pound six inch um, and then two 50 pounds. So again, uh, 50 pound, if you guys don't know what that means, that's a tensile strength. Uh, it's pretty much an industry standard that 50 pounds is sort of mostly what's used in the electrical world, uh, automotive world, you know, depending on the application. We also have a full line of heavy duty ties. The main one that you guys would see would be our three eighths of an inch wide T120R. So um, again, most of what we, we sell to the solar world is black. A black cable tie, um, naturally speaking, has a UV inhibitor in it, uh, but we also do run with UV stabilized solar ties, and, and that's what you guys would see through, through Baywa. So we also do, again, blend some material into our impact modified heat it, again, depending on the environment, keeping in mind we, we service uh, solar industry uh, customers across not only uh, the world, but specifically in North America. So obviously the requirements that somebody might have in Arizona are going to be very different than somebody in Toronto or in Edmonton, Calgary, wherever. So that's where the, the material blends have kind of um, become something of, of, uh, you know, of significance over the years. So. Um, these are just some of the, the details as far as our part numbers are concerned. So I, I don't want to bore you guys with too much of the specifics. Um, talking a little bit about the details themselves within this catalog. Again, it's always identified here with your material type, gives you your operating temperature, whether it's ROHS or UL or Canada, uh, CSA ULC certified. Um, you would find that information directly here in this catalog. Here's some of our PVDF. Uh, we also have a full line of stainless steel cable ties, depending on the environment. It's a 304 material or a 316 marine type grade material. So something that can, can really uh, hold up well against almost all environments, uh, heat wise as well. This is sort of the Cadillac, if you will, of, uh, of cable ties. Now we start to get into something that's a little bit more um, specifically designed for solar uh, as opposed to the standard cable ties. So we've got our edge clips, we've got this fir tree mount cable tie as well. Um, again, different variations, different availability as far as material types. Here's that metal edge clip in, in application that I mentioned off the top. We've got now a locking uh, features as well here to some of our clips and clamps. So again, just a little uh, variations on wiring and, and controlling the uh, cable management system. Uh, edge clip being our, our kind of most popular. We have uh, clips that start from one to three mil. Again, they seem to be the, the main standard, but we also have them up to three to six mil. And in fact, we have them even, even wider than that if you need them. So different orientations of these edge clips. Uh, again, that's one of the advantages. Once you push the edge clip on, it stays. Uh, depending on how you want it oriented, you can see the options here on the right side. Really depends on, on what the routing method is, is, uh, is required. So something like this, fairly new. Uh, this would just quite simply pop into a hole. And then you could use a standard cable tie as a, a method of hanging the wire and cable. Here's your metal edge clip that we spoke about earlier. Uh, we do have, this was our first, our standard one. Uh, we've since developed a, a low profile one, and we've also developed a 90 degree version of it as well. So talking a little bit earlier about our locking clamps. Again, it's just a different way to do it. These come in a in a, a oval hole or a circle hole in some cases, and with various uh, min and max diameters for your bundle. Cable tie with fir tree mount. This is a single piece, a one piece assembly. So it doesn't necessarily have some of the same advantages of something like the uh, edge clip might, where if you need to remove this, you're, you're essentially going to have to wreck the cable tie uh, and the mount to get that uh, out. Our ratchet clamps, this is a new product. Uh, well, relatively new. It's been uh, around for around four or so years now. 
but it's a product that started out with this idea of a metal tab with a uh, range here of the clamp itself so this the smallest size starts at a quarter inch and will run up to half we've got the half that runs up to three quarter and so there's there's a total of, of five sizes starting with a quarter inch all the way up now to a three inch the tabs come in various different lengths and angles depending again on the application itself we have some heavy duty mounts again this is something that allows you to keep that mount in place and you use a cable tie to secure your bundle up against that mount and here we get into some of our protection products from something as basic as a as a corrugated tubing uh, some people call them a, a critter proofing or something to that effect um, all the way from smallest sizes of quarter inch all the way up to in some cases two and a half inches depending on, on what you're looking for this is our convoluted tubing specifically with a uv resistance so. heat shrink as well as a product we have so now we we have some information specific and i apologize at some level guys this this refers to the nec code which is more of a u.s based uh code however the cec which we have here does uh, line up pretty well with most of the NEC code compliances. So there, there. I'm not an expert on the code. We we do have code experts. So if there was ever a question specifically to a code um, compliance concern or question, uh, we would definitely be able to make sure you got uh, the right answer. But as a basic, you know, overview, uh, this is something that's controlled by the U.S. is the National Electrical Code. Um, specifically for uh, not only just managing wire and cable, but we'll get into it a little bit more here with identification. So this is a, a become a big part of uh, not only what Hellerman Titan does, but what generally speaking, uh, solar customers like yourselves need. Uh, we've done a few different, different things with our solar identification line. Um, for us, it all starts with a software system that we have. Uh, that is, is where the, the labels are all kind of born from. Uh, combining that with, uh, we do have a full line of, of thermal transfer printers. Uh, truthfully speaking, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's the kind of thing that is um, a very high quality, and very well working system that we have. So software starts it, we have our full line of printers, and then of course we've got the full line of labels that go with that full system. Some, as we'll get down into this a little bit, are very specific to exactly what you might need as far as the text on that label. Um, this in this case here is showing a full rooftop type of system, makes it fairly easy to identify based on you know a numbering system down here uh, brings you down to the type of label that you know based on code should be applied in this case we're talking number four uh, that's your emt or your conduit raceway um, reflective metal or material label here so uh, nice easy-ish kind of layout as far as you know trying to identify and understand what label may have to go where and we've got updated uh, versions of this based on different levels of code as well. Code uh, compliance changes from time to time. Uh, our latest and greatest code compliance information covers off on the, the 2021 NEC code. So um, you can see some of these labels come exactly like this. Oh, guys, just uh, bear with me one second while I plug my computer in, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, my apologies. Um, so we, we have our, our pre-established um, texting or texted uh, labels here as an example. And then we have some that allow you to change or add the variable information. Whether you use a uh, Sharpie or some type of pen, 
or ideally you use a system like ours to you know input this information so in this case you know operating current voltage what's the max voltage you know short circuit current information etc again here's going into some of the combinations of this label again breaks it down to the label requirements for NEC code. In this case, it's talking a little bit more about our 2014 code, uh, but we do have a lot of more updated uh, information as the codes continue to change and, and um, you know, uh, adjust, I suppose. Uh, here are uh, an example of some of our pre-printed solar. So again, we, we talk here again, just like in the cable tie area, Material type is always here, operating temperature. Uh, guys, we have done a lot of, of accelerated life testing uh, with these labels. And it's a, a xenon arc chamber. And they have done, uh, in some cases, up to 20 years worth of accelerated life, directly comparing it to a, uh, a plastic plate or a, a platonic, I think, what do they call them exactly? A platonic plate. Um, the uh, and and our labels do extremely well up against them and in some cases beyond them. Uh, that is information that we have available, uh, you know, for public consumption. If there's ever any requirements to to see some of those results, um, we've been working closely with Baywa on our label offering. And if you guys have any uh, you know specific questions about availability. Um, I'll go into a, there's a, an area right after this that shows a little bit of the kitted parts that we put together as well. So um, you don't necessarily need to invest in a full system. If you know what you need for your labels, we've also put together kits that, that kind of cover the basis, if you will. So, so this is just an example of, of some of the you know, pre-established labels that we have. In a lot of cases, 50 is sort of the, the common size unless we start getting into the kits. 50 labels per roll. Um, we do have the same, as I mentioned earlier, the solar convenience pack. So, so this is where you would get a smaller number of the more common popular style or, or types of labels. So a lot of options here when it comes to, to labels, similar to our cable management products. Uh, you know, a lot of different mouse traps, if you will, as far as um, using the, the Hellerman Titan uh, branded products. So we we also do have a full line of um, metal solar placards, as we call them. Uh, these are not printable. These are uh, you know already established at the at the factory. Um, adhesive in a lot of cases, you can rivet them on. We've seen that happen as well, and they're available in different you know colors, sizes. Again, everything on this this uh, catalog page here shows you you know, all the details you'd need, including including some uh, code information as well. So just a, a lot of information as far as what needs to uh, needs to happen code wise. Colors, typically we've mentioned uh, uh, red is a is a big color, but we also do have a black and metal type of, of, uh, of combination, if you will. You can see here they've inscribed this or scribed this on, but they can also uh, you can also use a, a sharpie or something like that to to include that information. So here's where we talk a little bit about our variable print. So this is how the label comes, and again you would use our system to input that information into that white you know printable portion. Uh, different styles. This one happens to be a continuous uh role of labels i i like offering this because it gives you the flexibility of establishing a label uh, custom size almost so in this particular case it comes with a that, that i think they're talking this one here seems to be a two inch one but it's a, a continuous two inch roll 250 feet with a printer like ours has a cutter so what it allows you to do is establish a label as short as an inch or as long as seven inches, if that's what you need. And on that information, you can include, uh, you know, again, whatever information on that label that you, you might need. We've got serialization capabilities with our software, images, QR codes, 
um, standard barcoding, can input a customer uh, logo. Uh, we can actually use the software to, to um, pull in or, or import information that may already be in an AutoCAD drawing or system, Excel document, anything really uh, that you need to include on a label. Uh, our system has a fairly easy uh, and clean way of, of doing it. So um, if there was ever any requirements or questions specifically more on the software and its capabilities, you can just let Matt know and happily we can we can do another one of these sessions specifically on identification or maybe specifically to uh, a customer or a customer's customer. So uh, again, we're just kind of going in a little bit more to the the specifics here when it comes to our material types. Full line of reflective labels, some that are uh, coil around the, uh, the conduit in this case. We have some rooftop labels. And then we get into a little bit more of our, our pre-printed offering here as well. The solar convenience kits. And finally, uh, a few warning labels as well. And in this particular case, this is how the label itself would come. The warning uh, doc or the warning text is there. It's this white clear portion under here that you would use the system for as far as your text and information in there. Here's a little bit more information on our, our continuous label uh, material that we I spoke about a moment ago comes in different colors and different widths, uh, one inch all the way up to four inches and in uh, more or less a rainbow of colors. So you got red, black, white, yellow, and orange. Talks a little bit here about our code compliance. And then this is specifically related to our software, what its uh, capabilities are. So um, again, maybe I should just quickly touch on it. Uh, so it is a uh, Windows-based software. Uh, so it's got a kind of an easy look and feel to it and um, allows you to, as you would expect, once you design a label, you can save that label. You can save that label with a combination of a variable uh, piece of information or a, a uh, Excel version, if you will. You can pin favorite labels. You can print five of one. You can print two of the next. There's a lot of different options when it comes to uh, you know, being able to print on demand, um, whether it's on site or whether it's through somebody like Baywa who can print for you, kit product, depending on the circumstances, uh, gives you some flexibility there. So we also have a, a mobile app that can be used with a, uh, a small wire wireless router. This is a little bit, bit of information specifically on the printer itself that we, we typically promote for, for solar. It's a networkable printer, fairly small. Uh, in a lot of cases, it comes as a kit, which would include a ribbon, the software, and a little carrying case that allows you to, uh, you know, bring it on site. It certainly is something that you could use on site. Uh, it is not necessarily though a handheld printer. We we do get that question from time to time. Um, handheld printers have a value uh, for sure. Uh, they typically uh, seem to have fairly basic capabilities, uh, where this is a, a certainly much more, uh, you know, elaborate, you know, and, and the higher uh, possibilities as far as labels themselves from a system like this versus a, a handheld. So this happens to be a, what one of those kits might look like, carrying case, et cetera. And then without uh, getting into much, you know, uh, detail about this, but but we do have uh, products that that fit, you know, at some level with more of the the automation or the control panel part of of a of a system. Something like our wiring duct, uh, spiral wrap. You know, we we all probably know what that is: a heat shrink tube, a convoluted tubing, and then standard cable ties as well that aren't necessarily designed for solar. Uh, it talks a little bit here at the end about our commitment to quality. I talked a little bit about that at the beginning. You know, the raw virgin material, that's what starts everything for us. 
we also have an ISO 9000. Uh, we actually have an ISO 14001, which is an environmental standard. The TS16949, that's a, a, a huge uh, automotive uh, spec that we have. Uh, we have an aerospace specification, AS9100. Um, whether these are, you know, in, in all reality, aren't specifically related to solar, um, what the reason we talk about them a little bit at least is to make you guys aware, I think, of the, the, uh, the work and the requirements needed to adhere to these specifications, these standards, if you will. And it just speaks to the quality of the product and the quality of our company, I think, when it comes to, to that. So that, that's sort of why that gets, gets brought in. So, and then just some information as, a, as far as an address is concerned. So um, I will now go to the solar label value pack information. So this is, this is something that we have put together um, with uh, input from uh, customers like yourselves when it comes to the type of labels needed for a, a, a system, if you will. Um, this is one particular part number. There are uh, different options available. We're just going to talk a little bit about, you know, what we've done here as an, as an example. So, you know, the, the features and benefits of this specific one is, again, a complete collection of required PV labels in one package. So this would be this part number to order, and in it would come six of this, six of, you know, et cetera. You, you guys can see the labels that would come in that package. So that's that's just one example. So I, I thought I'd bring this up, and, and this is just something that we'll kind of pass through fairly quickly. It was just something that our our folks in the US put together, uh, giving everybody a bit of a, a um, you know, I guess an advantage, if you will, but certainly just some information as to how to pass inspection. And granted, some of this is maybe a bit more US driven, but uh, it's been our experience that the, the CEC code uh, mirrors the NEC code fairly closely. So um, it, it just, again, gets into some of the, the more specific details. I, I won't go over too much of it. Um, we'll just uh, touch on it briefly. I'll show it to you and then you guys can, if you would like, again, like a copy, no problem. We, we can easily send this. So these are just some of the details as to, you know, what, what passes or you know what could potentially fail a uh, a, a system we have uh, we have developed a, a few of these posters as well if there was ever a requirement for that just to to give everybody a, a pretty good idea of, of what you know what we've identified as uh, as requirements so um and and sort of lastly guys this is just a a uh, a general line card if you will of, of our products that aren't necessarily related to uh to solar so this is us uh, you know again we, we talked a little bit about our innovative products uh this touches a little bit on our, our network connectivity which we we haven't really touched on and, and won't our identification uh, but then on on this second page here, this is where you you would see. Uh, I'll just try to zoom in a little bit here. So so here is our 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 categories, if you will. So our our bundling and securing is our is our big one. Uh, standard cable ties. We talked a little bit about self affixing ties, as as we we call them. So that's the edge clips, the fir trees, uh, a full range of cable tie mounts uh, from a flexible amount to a standard four-way or two-way mount, uh, various different uh, adhesive types depending on the environment, uh, bundle separators, clips and clamps, oh, our metal clip right here, ratchet clamp we talked about, our locking clamp. We have a full range of application tools uh, specifically for tightening and tensioning and cutting a cable tie. Routing, protecting, and insulation, another uh, area. Uh, braided sleeving, you guys are probably familiar. I, I don't think it's something that's used much in the, in the solar world. Uh, we also have flexible conduit, and then our, our general uh, convoluted tubing as well. And we also have um, our spiral wrap, which we talked a little bit about. 
We've got a surface raceway product. Again, not something I'd see in the solar market much. And then our wiring duct, which, which is probably something that you guys would see certainly in, in some of the larger scale uh, applications where there's a, an automation box or a control panel of some sort, uh, you'd see this type of product in there. And then, and then some insulation products. So we've got our heat shrink, uh, electrical tape, et cetera. So, um, so, so that's kind of it for me, guys. That's in a nutshell uh, what, what I was hoping to you know, uh, express to you guys was um, when it comes to anything related to wire and cable management or identification, um, my, my bet would be that you guys would be able to find something uh, that Hellerman Titan has. Uh, it's ready, readily available uh, more often than not. We have a facility in Aurora, Ontario, uh, warehouse facilities. Um, you've got Baywa there locally that, that supports us well with stock. So, um, you know, if there's any questions or any uh, specific requirements about anything we spoke about today or anything that you guys discover looking through some of this stuff, um, you can start with anybody at Baywa and, and they can pass along to me. Or uh, if, you, if you wanted something more specific, as I mentioned, maybe a, another uh, opportunity down the road might be to get more specific about our tag print and our, on our identification system. Um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a broad range of products that we, we offer and it's uh, sometimes requirements uh, to get more specific into, you know, one particular area. Uh, there's over 7,000 line items at Hellerman Titan. Uh, so globally, there's actually 50,000, but within North America, we, we tend to, to make or sell around 7,000 SKUs. And uh, so, yeah, it, it's obviously one of those things you have to generalize at some level. And then if there's a requirement for specific information, just, just let us know. So. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, thank you for uh, taking some time. And, and if anybody has any questions, um, we could uh, happily answer them for you. Thanks, Terry. That, that was great. Uh, appreciate uh, the presentation. Uh, I'm not seeing any questions, so I'll hang on for another minute just in case. But okay. uh, just a couple of uh, items before we do go. Thank you, everybody, for taking time out of your busy day uh, to be with us. We really do appreciate it. Uh, Baywa does have samples of the Hellerman Titan products, um, so please just reach out to your rep. Uh, and let us know. We'd be happy to send us, uh, some of those to you free of charge. Uh, for those who are not already set up, I'd like to recommend that you look at our web shop and uh, setting an account up there. You can find specs, pricing, warranty, uh, install box, uh, inventory, all that good stuff is there. Uh, we have recorded this presentation, so it's, it will be on our YouTube channel, and it'll come out in our main newsletter. And if you do have any follow-up questions, uh, please just reach out to your your dedicated rep, and uh, we'd be happy uh, to answer any questions you have. So uh, once again, thank you, everybody, and thank you, Terry and Hellerman Titan. Uh, really appreciate you guys all taking the time to be with us today. Excellent. Thank you, Matt. I, I, I thank everyone as well. Go, go Leafs, go Leafs. That's <laughs> not meant to say go Leafs. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good day. All right. Take care. <laughs>